It's just about doing the right thing. That's it. If you're always truthful, you can't go wrong. Liars will always get caught because you can't remember all your lies. The truth, you cannot go wrong. Vivian can say I'm a liar all she wants. Show the receipts. What have I lied about? Could I have been wrong a couple of times? Yes, I'm a fucking human. That doesn't make me a liar. A lie is something I fabricate and I present it to you knowing it's not true. I've never done that. I said everything, everything that came out of my mouth was fact. You could keep sending your trolls to keep saying I'm a liar because my reply is always, well, give me one example of what I lied. And then they just say, I'm out of here. Of course, because they can't. You can't. Helping my friend, the salty bitch. She's going through some very hard times. Um, she's out of a domestic violence situation, but she has a daughter. And because the relationship's over, he's left her in a very bad predicament. They're going to be homeless. So I want to try to do some type of marathon where I can help my friend, the salty bitch, too. Because um, I care about her. I, I want to make sure her and her daughter are safe, warm, dry fed. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave her out in the street, you know? So, or make her, if I hear she's like, well, she could drive to West Virginia. I would definitely let her stay in my house. I only have a two bedroom house, but you know, I'd make her, we could get some air mattresses. <laughs> she's an, a really nice girl. She's, a, she's been on my panel before. Um, so I think it's worth it. I'm waiting for her to respond because I need more details to the story and I need the link. I know where I can go and copy and paste it, but I need more details to the story because we all know what's gonna happen. People are gonna ask a little bit more. So whatever she's willing to share, she's usually pretty open. I was hoping she'd come up on the panel and talk to everybody, but whatever she's willing to share, um, if she could relate that to me, I'll share it with you guys and then I'll drop the link. I wish Salty the best. I hope she can figure it out. Unfortunately, how things ended, I, th I wanted to try to share it. I thought about it, but then I felt like it wasn't appropriate for me to even get involved. She has enough support. Let's get out of that house. I mean, it's getting to the point that the sheriff's going to come. And that's never a good thing because, you know, you got belongings and stuff. You don't lose your stuff. Um, so I don't know, even know if she could afford to get storage. It's, it's very complex. When you own a, when you're being thrown out of your home but, and you know, he just stopped helping. That's a very fucking odd thing. Um, she has some serious health issues, you know, and it's looking like it may happen. I'm mean, we're, we're hoping it's not that her daughter may have to go stay with a friend and we don't know what salty bitch might have to go take stay at a hotel or something. Um, but the daughter needs to stay in the school district. She's in school. I don't know. It's a lot, you know, I, it's, my heart breaks for that. And you know what? Jessica, she would never put on a show advocating for somebody who's a survivor of domestic violence and is in a position and needs some, some financial help. You know why? Because she's like Natasha that would take money away from her. You're never going to see her help another channel drop any links for channels she wanted that help but she doesn't want to put it back in and you know what jessica she would never put on a show advocating for somebody who's a survivor of domestic violence and is in a position and needs some some financial help you know why because she's like natasha that would take money away from her you're never going to see her help another channel, drop any links for channels. She wanted that help, but she doesn't want to put it back in. But Granny, you don't want to play with the salty bitch. She's one tough bitch. She will eat you up and spit you out. That before breakfast. 
you don't want a piece of her. So mind your fucking business when I help her. Don't even listen. You interfere with the fun reasons I'm going to try to do for a few people. I am going to hit back so hard, Granny. You're not going to like it. You fucking leave my channel alone. The audacity of this bitch. If she asked me to stop, I'll stop. The salty bitch will chew you up and spit you out. And then, of course, her behavior is escalated again. And here comes Natasha. That's what you're going to see is a pattern of behavior. I just don't see that in CJ. CJ is not trying to be friends with Natasha. She's no. Not, no. No. I mean, no. I think that's a beautiful thing that you're hot. Yeah. You are feeling bad because somebody was grieving. You know, and yeah. I would, you know. I, I mean, would hope, I would have hoped that it, if it was one, I'm like, I know it wouldn't have happened, right? But I would hope what would it have been one of us. I don't know what you mean. You have to be specific. You said, I would hope everybody knows it would. Oh, that you would be friends with her. No, I would hope that, that if, if it was me that had lost somebody or you that had right. lost somebody, that they would have reacted the same. Now, whether they would have or they wouldn't, we don't know. Oh, right. she's like, wait, I have a perfect analogy. There's a woman who's struggling terribly. She's about to be really in a bad predicament with a child. So over the last couple of months, there's been tension on YouTube. And it got, well, I never fed into it. I never went over there and even dealt with it. I ignored it like I you do everything else. Um, so when I heard that it happened, I hesitated at first. I waited a little bit, but then they were doing marathons. So it, it was really tugging in my conscience and in my heart. And I love that girl before. I'm surprised that her feelings are so harsh towards me now over YouTube because I wouldn't let that interfere, but some people can't separate the two. So whatever, we move on with life, right? So yeah. I reached out to her and I texted her and I said, look, I know we had some issues on YouTube, but what's going on with you is so much more important. I want to try and help. I have a platform. I can possibly get you some donations to help out your situation. Dorothy, Dorothy and, sorry. Uh, but, can I just... Yeah? I don't think uh, we need to go into that. Oh, Irish, please stop. Stop. No, I'm asking what, you. Irish, Irish, I don't care if you ask me. I want to talk about it. Stop. No, listen, you have talked oh, about Oh, Irish, it. Irish, Irish. Right. I'm talking on my piano. So I said yes. She said yes, she needed it. Well, before I know it, I'm on live. Certain people from her group were coming in and saying, leave her alone. And I was like, I texted her very kindly and she wanted it or you know she needed it i said why do you have all all the money all the funds to make sure they're going to be fed and warm that they're going to be safe you know what i mean so yeah. and then i dropped it says that and i could do it at that point her friends intervened obviously so that's how yeah. heated people get over youtube stuff guess who was over there clear genetic code if anybody sees genetic code in here, take them out immediately. Which I tell you what happened with that. You would not even believe. But don't let me forget, Claire. Nobody cares if your friends are who you're friends with. Believe me. That doesn't keep me awake at night, sweetheart. About who's friends with who on YouTube. Which channels you go on. Which comments you leave. Which panels you go up on. Who you talk shit about. Unless it's me, of course. I don't fucking care. But again, if she is still talking to you, ask her where the fucking numbers are because she's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Non lawyer and lion heifer. That's I her. Never... Fucking liars. Bunch of you. Lion, lion, lion heifers. And I got no problem. No problem with it whatsoever telling you that. Up on panel, on a video call. I don't know, a Zoom. Maybe uh, you. I'll send some smoke signals your fucking way. If you're awake, huh? I'll tell you that. Don't ever think 
that this is just going to be part that, that I'm going to be part of your fucking ridiculous drama. I'm not going to be part of your drama. You're not going to inject me or any of the people that support me. And these, like these ladies did when they did this live stream the other day, calling your ass out and taking you to task for what you did. Again, that's friendship. That's loyalty. That's devotion. That they would come up here and do that and call you out on your fuckery. And they got the support. Again, nobody's doing that shit for you, Dot. Nobody. I wish you would have listened to Jur in that clip that I just heard. I wish you would have listened to her. You stop. And you want to keep talking about Claire again? I will fucking come up here and say Claire is a fucking piece of shit liar. Uh, let's see how many times I can say it in 24 hours, guys. Claire is a fucking piece of shit liar. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. She's a liar, liar, liar. She wasn't a lawyer. She never was. She never will be. That's a fact, baby. Not an opinion. I told you a while back not to ever come out and tell anybody my business again. What I meant by that wasn't the fact that you knew anything at all. It was pretending like you knew what the hell was happening back then. Well, Claire, of all people, is a liar. Yeah, she's a liar. It's not an opinion, baby. We didn't have a difference of opinion. That's a fact. She's a liar, and I'll say it again. She's a fucking liar. You keep bringing her up. I'm going to keep coming out and saying she's a fucking liar. And why isn't anybody defending her? Because she can't be defended, can she? No, because she's a fucking liar. And again, for those that, that missed it, she's a fucking liar. And you've lost your fucking mind. You need to get your shit together. Your tirades, I don't care. Who they're with, what they're about, what involves me. Yeah, yeah, I do. I wasn't up to speed completely the other day at all, but I've seen enough. I don't care about who you fucked with in the past or tangling with now. What I do care about is the fact that you still think that it's a good idea and it's acceptable to come up there and say anything about me whatsoever at all. And you lie about it. That means you're a fucking liar too. And stop telling people that you keep things from YouTube separate from real life. What well, it stays on YouTube? It stays on YouTube. Don't bring it into your life. Well, why are you bringing people's lives onto your YouTube? And why are you bringing your YouTube, I guess, into other people's lives? You need to get your shit together there. Seriously. Get it together, heifer. Granny's watching. You need to know. She calls everybody a heifer. So she's like, you heifers need to get me caught up. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, you know, we're like, here, listen to this. Listen to that. She's the one that said, we're going fucking live. We didn't say. Wait a minute. Can, huh? can you repeat that again? You call everybody heifers, right? Yeah, she no, does. not really. Yeah, okay, she does. Does. Okay. Because I call people heifers and I'm being I'm being accused of fat shaming. And I'm like, no, that is literally a <laughs> word I do. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I didn't say that exact words to you, but she does. She calls everybody a heifer and it's not necessarily a bad thing or not. She calls us heifers. We call her a bitch, you know, what it, but when I said, so Dorothy's going after this, this person, granny's watching, she's like, I don't even know who the fuck that heifer is. I said, I know you don't, blah, 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 blah. But it was yeah. a mad, bad way. Well, so, yeah. now, now I agree because it's like a saying. It's like this yes, weirdo yeah. or this, you know, this person. Yeah. This, this I just random, want to, yeah. So I want to feel validated for a moment. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> that's my view. I would never even utter those words. Those people are a bunch of rejects. They all turned on each other in a very aggressive, nasty way. People that had been friends in real life, they even met up with each other and stuff. And then, I don't know why, thought they had a right to somebody's personal information and demanded to see it. Uh, it's just weird. Why would you, you're going to the broken toys. And then the last couple of days, she has been running with the group of dusty bitches that I have put in my rear view mirror. I am not going to say their name. I don't care. Hey, hi there, little fella. Come out of here. Do you know a way out of here?
Yeah, I know. I've known Salty for years. I care about her. I, I want the best for her. This is YouTube nonsense. This is YouTube. Do you think that if I thought somebody I knew was in serious jeopardy, that I wouldn't spring into action to help a woman in her minor child? Of course I will. I care about her. Just because we had a little hiccup on YouTube, you really think that I'm that small-minded and bitter that I'm not going to jump in and try to help a mom and her minor child? When I start thinking that way, Wendy, please get me out of this. Like, just say, girl, you've lost your way. When YouTube, little hiccups become more important than human beings, yeah, just say, bitch, get the hell out of here, okay, girl? Because that's a bad thing. Oh, Cassius. Is that the real Cassius, though? Um, who specifically... Well, you blocked him. You hit him. Is that the real Cassius? Cassius, I don't think you know what you're talking about. If you said the person's name, I would have been able to give you an um, educated response. Okay? Well, all right, Kelly. But Salty and I had been texting. We communicated. Did she tell that to you, Genetic? She said yes. She would like to help. Did you know that, Kelly? But just stay out of it. Genetic could come here. I have a platform. She has something to say to me. I fucking have an email address, actually. Isn't that a beautiful thing? That there's a way to do that privately? Kelly, why don't you stop intruding? It's none of your fucking business. You don't know who has been texting with you. Okay? Don't you love when people behave this way? Wow. Can you imagine that people would come in over me wanting to raise funds i could have got i mean i could still can i could get a good amount of money together to help salty who i care about but they would rather hold on to youtube trauma salty was fine with that what's wrong genetic got a problem with other people trying to get donations to salty to help her in a very scary time of her life, really? Are you going to send her all the money she needs genetic? Or are you just going to cut off resources to Salty? Doesn't sound like a very friendly thing to do. Why don't you send me an email genetic like in a fucking adult? Huh? You really acting this way because I supported Claire Morgan. I'm still going to support her. She's my friend. I care about her. Is that a problem for you? Yeah, like, you don't want me to grow and prosper, that is so small-minded that you would want to cut any financial support to Salty at the worst time right now in her life. Why is Salty? Because I supported Claire Morgan. Genetic, really? You really want to stop any funding going to her that I could really rally together for her? Wow. That's shocking to me, actually. Do you see how um, Salty hasn't even come in, Ashley, yet? What are you talking about? I didn't talk about Salty having enough. I don't even know what amount she has. What are you talking about? Did you fabricate that, Ashley? I have never said that she had enough. What are you talking about? That's so weird. Wendy, did you know that I announced that Salty has enough already? Even though I've never seen the link and I don't know the amount she's got or needs. So, Ashley, take a long walk off a short pier. I wish Salty the best. I hope she can figure it out. Unfortunately, how things ended, I, th I wanted to try to share it. I thought about it, but then I felt like it wasn't appropriate for me to even get involved she has enough support she really wants to cut funding off to salty i talked to salty one-on-one -on -one. really genetic gonna do that so you're gonna take care of all her needs you're gonna give her all the money she needs wow good to know with friends like you you just don't fucking need enemies do you 
That's funny. It was a compassionate conversation. Her and I had, she appreciated it. And then people want to butt their fucking noses into something that was only to help. And until I hear it from Salty, my self-genetic, I'm not going to take it. Because I already talked to Salty. Maybe she didn't tell you that. I don't know. I'm still going to try to help her. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to October. Dot, the last time I actually tried to contact you, you put out a community post. You were not educated enough to make a decision, an educated decision about putting out some information. It was about Claire and all that other stuff. I was up on your panel. These two, ironically enough, Cheryl and JC, joined me shortly after that. You were wrong then. I checked your ass. You're wrong now. Fuck off. Don't be lying to people, all right? Don't be. That's the last time I actually ever tried to contact you was back in October. You texted me. You called. I responded. That was the text that y'all saw the other day that they showed you. That any any support of any kind is extremely appreciated, and I'm grateful for it, and my daughter is grateful for it. What did I say? Even if it's just positive vibes sent our way, we, we, we appreciate that. We need that. One-on-one. -on -one. Fuck off. Friends, we go way back. I'm brainwashed. I mean, there, there, there is really, I don't think anything, anything that you won't say contradictory or hyper, hypocritically or anything else. And just flat out fucking false and untrue. And again, your bad decision. You made that choice. And genetic here? Yeah. You can see exactly what kind of friend she is. Exactly. And I'm proud to call her my friend. And I'm speaking about Jen right now. Of course, everybody else. But particularly because of what she said here. That's friendship and that's devotion. And guess what? I did <clears throat> feel strongly enough about our YouTube friendship that I stood up for your fucking ass before Dorothy. I feel I, I'm kind of kicking myself with doing that. If I knew how things were going to end, how, how you were going to end up, what you were going to turn into, okay? A maniacal, lunatic, diabolical, hypocritical cunt. That's what she turned into. I wouldn't have done it. It's a shame. It's a shame. I won't ever have to worry about genetic code getting up here, doing anything using me for content in any way for fucking me over or talking shit about me flip-flopping threatening blah 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 using me to prop her up for whatever reason for her for the aesthetic of it like you did with me the other day talking about how we go way back yeah everybody that you go way back with let's fucking cut you off because you are a fucking twat because of the shit that you've done. And it's not just those that you go way back with. It's everybody. And again, don't forget about the fact that her fucking channel was started just to sling shit and be a douchebag, right? That's the fuckery that you perpetuate. That's what you wanted to do. But you crossed a line there a long time ago, Dorothy. You crossed a line. It's not about clapping back. When you are looking for someone's personal information of theirs to use on your YouTube channel for content, there's something wrong with you. That's not acceptable. I say, I, I, that, that goes for everybody. Y'all know how I feel about this. And again, the contradiction. Saying that YouTube stays on YouTube. The stuff offline, no, nah, no, nah, that's not important. Your entire channel was built on that shit. And that's what you continue to do every fucking day. She needs help. You got all the help she needs, Genetic? Really? Your harsh feelings about YouTube because I'm still friends with Claire? You really want to stop any donations I can get together for Salty? You're not that small-minded and petty. I, I just can't believe that. Oh, yeah, I know. It's none of their business. When I hear from Salty, you know, Wendy. 
they think they're gonna ruffle my fingers. Feathers, I'm good. I'll talk to Salty. I already talked to her. She doesn't want my help. I don't do it. It's not a big deal. I don't want to force myself to help her. Well, I am, you know, the one that just wants to help everybody. <laughs> That's what I do. Maybe I'll just steal her link and help her anyways. It's so weird how people are. I wonder why. That's so weird. Now I'm going to talk about it out loud. Wendy, why do you think genetic would butt her nose in? That's really weird. Why would she go type it over in YouTube past? I don't fucking go over there anymore. Never going there again. They're full of shit. It's a fucking hateful troll. It's a nasty person. Why would I go over there? To be honest with you, I don't give a fuck. Anyway, just uh, leave me and what we've done in this channel out of it. And that includes enough and JC and all. And that's another thing, by the way, Dorothy. Back off genetic code. I don't know where you think this is going to go with JC. But she'll go back at you one of these days. And you might be a little bit surprised when she hands you your arse on a platter. She's not a bit soft, you know. And just because she comes on and she's always in a good mood and giggles and fun and chirpy and everything else doesn't mean to say that she can't handle herself. Jen can turn as fast as any of the rest of us can. So don't pick her out as the one that you're going to focus on and bully because she'll give you as good as you get and everybody else is going to stand up for it. We're not going to sit here and let you talk about somebody that we really like. You know, so back off genetic as well. Or what, are you going to claim that you grew her channel? Too. And she took that on, right? Well, Dorothy, you made this decision and you're going to take this on and you're going to deal with consequences. For anybody, when you said, she's my friend, if she asks me not to do what I want, if she asks me to stop, I'll stop. If she does this, I'm telling you to stop with your fuckery and the shit that you've been doing and that you continue, that you're doing, you, you just need to stop, all right? So if you take anything out of this conversation, what I'm saying right now, honey, stop. Fuck off, Dorothy. She tells me to stop, I'll stop. Yeah. 